everybody it's me andrew get out into nature and tune in for yourself resonate with the earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz the universal frequency balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in our nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great days so uh this evening i'm going to talk a little bit on um how your gut and the brain is directly connected um neurologically and um how the the state of your uh, gut can literally cause a uh, mental malalignment or, or imbalances. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get a little bit into this. All right, so let's get right into this. Um, so to begin, um, once again, your brain and your gut are literally directly connected to each other. Okay, uh, so so in other words, um, you have two brains, right? You have uh, this brain up here, and then you have your gut. Your your gut is the second brain, and this is why you hear uh, the little saying go around to trust your gut because your gut is literally a neurological system that uh, makes choices much faster than your actual brain does. Okay, uh, and I do believe your heart is also a type of brain if it is uh, if. It may be like a third brain, okay? There may be like three brains. But um, a lot of the, the, uh, the, there's a lot of nerve endings in the gut, right? And these nerve endings are, uh, there's literally more nerve endings, I think, in the gut than there is in the brain, okay? So, so um, this is literally like the second brain. And uh, you need to keep a very, very, uh, you need to basically, uh, keep your gut clean you know if if it's very very dirty then um it's going to directly affect your entire uh system the status okay and uh not only your entire system but uh your 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 neurological uh, system mainly i'm talking about the brain okay your mind is mainly going to be very very much affected and imbalanced if you have a very dirty gut okay and um if you have a dirty colon if all of this uh, over here is dirty the whole uh system down here near the gut or in the gut uh as a microbiome it's going to uh, literally affect your mental state okay so so if you're in a very very misaligned mental state and if you're very imbalanced mentally and you just have all of these ailments um that are within your mind then uh chances are it's because you're keeping a very dirty gut okay and a lot of people uh i mean a lot of people should know this intuitively because uh all animals know this you know uh to keep the gut clean and this is why you'll see dogs and cats eating on grass to puke it up and clean up their gut in the process and this is why they all fast naturally because they trust their body you know, uh, you see dogs, you see all animals fasting naturally, but humans, uh, we've been, we become so overstimulated with uh, society and everything, um, and it's also overwhelming, and the people uh, have not been able to tune into their body's needs and uh, its body, their body's uh, cycles, okay, and rhythms, and because of this, uh, we don't know when to fast when our body demands it to clean itself self-sustaining and we also uh, we can't really uh, tell or we don't really know anymore whenever it's become our, our system has become too corrupted you know or dirty uh, and and uh, we don't always we don't always keep too much remedial uh, methods of being able to clean the system up anymore because slowly uh, there's all these pharmaceutical methods trying to program their way into our lives and take over it 
you know, um, so then we forget about what our ancient ancestors have left with us, uh, which is pretty much remedial efforts or methods, you know, to be able to do this for us. But um, let me see. Uh, keeping it clean is very simple. You can just start fasting. You know, um, there are certain days out of the month where your body is going to demand fasts. Once again, all animals know this. Uh, and we should know this, but we're very overstimulated, so we don't intuitively feel this anymore. Uh, and we are out of alignment with our body's nature, or we are disharmonious with nature as a whole. So we aren't living like this, and we're getting very, very mentally ill because of this. And this is why, uh, for example, Western civilization is very, very mentally ill or psychologic, psychologically insane. Um, and this is why we're... we're we're, we're very um, heavily embedded in or entangled in um, loops, you know, and doing the same thing over uh, with no results, expecting changes, but nothing is happening. OK, so uh, this is insanity and this is what is uh, <laughs> this is what is strickening the the entirety of uh, Western civilization and a lot of the world uh, as well. OK, uh, but it's all just coming from disharmonious living. Or we're not living in harmony with nature anymore so there's obviously a consequence of this and it is literally uh, illness on multiple dimensions okay uh for one uh mental illness okay and we can all feel this we're all living together in the same society and a mass of the society is mentally ill because they're not following their body's rhythms and their body cycles and the nature and, and they're not living in harmony with nature and we're living amongst them even if you're a little bit cleaner you're still going to be uh, just as insane because uh, you pick up off of people and energy is very contagious via morphic genetic resonance okay so uh, we're literally just all in one little group uh, very, very insane okay but we're, we're here to slowly bring the health up okay if we can which we will uh, so, so cleaning the colon is very simple. All you got to do is fast a little bit more, um, do things which is going to cleanse out your bowels entirety. Uh, I want to say like kale smoothies or green juices can flush out the bowels a lot more, um, or just fruit smoothies, you know, uh, less solid foods because solid foods can literally clog it up. And uh, society can even encourage the cloggage, you know, just because it keeps you in a denser state of physicality. Um, and, and, it, and they do that, you know, just to program you into the pharmaceutical treatments for these types of sicknesses that can generate because of that, you know. But, um, and this is what the fast food corporations do. A lot of a lot of fast food corporations come with this information just flying around. Uh, as soon as you walk in, you're going to be programmed, you know, or even if you drive by, you're going to be um, mnemonically activated uh, programs. The information is pretty much going to take over. Um, and within that information or, or the or the fast foods corporation networks is um, to overeat and clog up your system. Okay, so fast food very much um, encourages this type of sickness. You know, so fast food networks are part of the cancer. All right, because this can lead to cancer as well, uh, keeping the cloggage there for a very long period of time, which uh, many people will live like this. Okay, because nobody has told them and they have forgotten because we are living in amnesia. Um, anyway, you can do things like drinking green smoothies, uh, fruit smoothies, liquids, you know, um, and fasting. This is really the best method to do, uh, to clean out this, uh, or the bowels, you know, or even the gut. You got to treat your uh, gut as a microbiome as well. One thing you got to note is that the gut is a microbiome and it's an environment. Literally, it is like um, growing a environment in an aquarium your gut is pretty much like that but um you got to take care of it because if it gets dirty and there's too much parasites that are growing inside of the gut you're going to get sick and uh it can even get as bad as uh, the parasites making their way up and uh, taking over your mind you know like on a sci-fi uh show or something 
okay, where, where the parasite will take over the people's minds in hive and uh, take over the world, you know? And I think, I think fast food corporations are also encouraging this type of parasite, okay? Uh, not healthy for humanity. So uh, you may want to stay away from fast food. Uh, that's just my advice. You don't have to, obviously. That's just uh, a tip from, from me. It also saves you money, okay? Uh, and a lot of the food there is uh, very badly gen genetically modified as well, okay? That's just an extra. But you got to take care of the gut as a microbiome, okay? Because it is an environment. And uh, if it grows very, very dirty, once again, you come into mental illness. And uh, to bring it all full circle, this is why Western civilization is very, very, very mentally ill. Because people aren't living uh, in accordance with their body's uh, cycles or their body's health. They're just um, living in a matrix, which is encouraging uh, self-destruction, you know, uh, in every way that is possible. Okay, okay. But, uh, once again, it's very, very simple. You can just start fasting uh, to clean the bowels through uh, eating or drinking. Try to make some green juices or fruit juices or fruit smoothies. Uh, something very, very liquid or just have water. Uh, or even just maybe, um, maybe even like milks or something. Okay. And uh, take care of the microbiome. Take care of the gut as a microbiome. Okay, treat it like an environment. Don't just throw anything in, in an environment. You need to take care of the environment, otherwise it's gonna go, it's gonna die. Okay, or it's gonna get very, very sick uh, because you're just throwing all these toxic things inside of it, you know? And it's like um, throwing toxic waste in uh, a forest. I'm pretty sure everything's gonna die, you know? This is like throwing processed foods in a uh, you're in your in your microbiome your gut it's going to mainly destroy the environment that it is and uh quite literally simultaneously your mind is going to be destroyed as well okay uh but once again we are very very overstimulated and we are literally uh desensitized to life so we are very very numb and we can't literally feel the uh subtler functionings of our system anymore because we're living outside of ourselves rather than within and due to this entire illness or this disharmonious living uh it has resulted in 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 uh, illnesses on many levels of our system okay so take care of your gut uh your gut and your brain are literally one and the same your gut is the second brain okay it has more nerve endings in it and it generates a uh, ton of serotonin as well which is literally the uh, the the uh, communications between cells okay this is very important because uh, the more serotonin you have the more communication you're able to um, bring out microcosmically okay because we are cells in a larger universal macrocosmic body okay so the more serotonin you have the more uh, transmission between cells can occur between you as a cell and another person as a cell, microcosm to microcosm. Uh, and this comes with higher serotonin releases. You can get this with dark chocolate. You can get this with dark greens. You can get this with uh, foods that you um, know are bringing you into a healthier state, okay? And uh, foods that you can literally feel bringing you a glow or, or like a love for life, you know? Um, that's pretty much it for this evening's video. Take care of your gut. Very, very important. Once again, uh, it can lead to very, very cancer states. Uh, but even cancer can be um, healed. Okay, uh, we're, we're very much past only being able to treat cancer at this point. We've been healing cancer quite often. Okay, uh, but they don't want everybody to know this. Once again, they're keeping that bullshit. Uh, so you can heal cancer. Uh, stage four cancers has been has been have been healed as well. Okay, uh, so so you don't even if you start generating some deep illness, you don't have to go into like a deep dread in because of it. You can literally heal that shit. Okay, so do thank everybody for watching once again. Peace out, one love, and have a great evening.